Hey, my friend, this is Kevin Ward, and today I want to have a very frank conversation with you about something that bothers me a lot. It is time to take the mask off. Now, I'm not talking, I'm, this is not a video about face masks. This is not a video about the beer sickness that has been ravaging our society for the better part of a year in more ways than one. This is about you. And this is about the way that you and I show up in the world. And that is the masks that we wear, that we wore long, long, long before the pandemic, and that most people continue to wear, whether they're wearing a face mask or not. And that is the facade. That is the front. That is the smiley face, the pasty that we put on our face to make us look like everything is going great, to make us look like something that we are not. Now, back in the day, in Greek, there was a word that was used of actors and actors, the people who played a part. And that word was hypocritas which from which we get the word hypocrite. And the word hypocritas, hi hypocrite, literally means to wear a mask. And it comes from, uh, it, 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 it relates to in the Shakespearean day, in the Shakespearean theater, they would wear a mask. And so actors and actresses to play a part, and of course in that day, all actors were pretty much actors. They were all men. And so they would the way they would play the part was with a mask and they would literally hold a mask up. So if you've seen the imagery or the kind of the, the symbol of drama, of theater today, it's two masks. It's a happy mask and a sad mask. It's tragedy and comedy. And that mask represented actors and they would literally wear a mask to represent the character that they were playing. And today, my question is, what is the mask that you are wearing? And it may be more than one mask. And one of the things that, that I have always believed and always taught as a real estate agent and now as a real estate coach was that you can get yes without the BS. Well, what is the BS? Well, it's the mask, it's the lies, it's the bait and switch, it's the bogus stories, the bogus statistics, The uh, it's, it's all of that. It's the stuff that we put out there that's not real. And there's one question today, the number one question that every person you meet has, the number one question that every prospect, that every lead, that every seller, that every buyer has, and this is the question, who can I trust? Can I trust you? Are you real? Are you legit? Or are you wearing a mask? And social media kind of plays into this, right? Because we post pictures of our face on social media. It's called, after all, Facebook. And we put our face up there. And it is the face that we want the public to see. But the question is, is it the real face? Now, it doesn't mean that we need to post every time that we feel upset or we feel a certain thing that we need to post that face. But it simply says, is the face and the person that you are portraying to the world, the person that you are portraying in your relationships with your clients, with your family, with your friends, is that real you or is that the fake you? Are you hiding behind a mask? Are you pretending to be something that you are not? And what I have discovered in my own life and what I have discovered in working with thousands of real estate agents and just in my life experience in general is that the person who has nothing to hide is the most powerful person in the world. If you can find a person who is absolutely transparent, absolutely honest, and I'm not talking about in some in some political sort of way, I'm talking about legitimately, the, the real deal, this, what you see, is what you get. And you know some people like that, don't you? You know some people that they don't pull any punches. They're not, it doesn't mean they're rude or they're mean or they're, it, it just means that they're, they're honest, that they're legit and that they aren't fake, that they don't pretend to believe one way and then in, a, in private act another way. In public, they're this way. In private, they're this way. On social media, they're, they have this front, but in real life, that's not their front. That they have this dark side that they don't let out. That they have this, 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 deceptive part of them, this, this lie that they are living, that they hide and that they pretend like that isn't real. 
And here's the truth. The lies that we live, they leak. They leak, they show up in our attitudes, in our eyes, they show up in our behaviors, they show up in our choices, they show up in the fruit on the tree. If you want to find great power, some of the greatest power you will ever find instantly, it is simply have the courage to take off the mask, to come clean with who you are, with what you are, with what you believe, with and have the have the, the willingness to look at it in the mirror and number one, take the mask off for yourself and just be honest with yourself. And then you can be honest with others. And in that honesty, in that authenticity is incredible power. What is the mask that you are wearing that needs to come off? 